Alrighty, YouTube. So obviously Cinderella has been out for a few days now, and I have actually tested her everywhere: solo raid, um, inter interception anomaly bosses, arena. I've done a lot of comparisons with her versus Scarlet, her versus Red Hood. I don't have a direct video on her versus Scarlet, but I have done the comparisons and stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to be ranking her, right? I'm going to be ranking her on this little overall tier list that I had made what last month or whatever. Um, I've got a lot of feedback about this i have gotten a lot of feedback about this tier list specifically i've been told this is a pretty good tier list um and it's a good tier list for a lot of people to kind of understand and follow so hopefully i continue to kind of follow that trace of you know it being a good tier list or whatever right obviously i have my top 10 my ss characters characters that i think are good characters that i think are mid and then characters that are just not useful to me right a lot of people did want me to put jackal noah and then also biscuit in the highest tier which is good and that's because they're good in pvp obviously me personally i don't consider pvp as high but this is a tier list where i do listen to feedback so if you guys want me to move up a certain character up or down um and it's a lot of you guys then feel free to let me know down below in the comments now before this video begins let's try to get two subscribers on this video and let's try to get 50 likes i mean I think this is a video where you should only like if you do agree with me um and then you guys also can use the like button to determine if you know people agree with me or not right if we get a lot of likes on this video that means must mean a lot of people like the video if you guys don't agree with my tier list all the way if it's just completely wrong then feel free to dislike it doesn't hurt me right um i would like to put out information that is accurate obviously it's a tier list at the end of the day so not everyone is going to agree with me but we're going to be talking about only these two for now cinderella and rapunzel since i've used them both so let's start off with rapunzel i don't know if i just said cinderella and cinderella i'm rapunzel and cinderella i don't know what i just had said there but let's start off with rapunzel i think rapunzel is great as a free-to-play unit for being a burst 120 second cooldown character for the people who do not have that for the pilgrim tower now in this game the pilgrim tower is isn't everything but the pilgrim tower is one of the ways that you can actually get access to pilgrims through pilgrim modes right but the only problem with that is that you do need pilgrims to do it so the fact that only this rapunzel and a summonable character known as dorothy is the only burst 120 second cooldowns that is kind of a problem because you're not going to guarantee to have dorothy but everybody and their mother is guaranteed this rapunzel right here um as a character i don't really think she's that good I think her shield is pretty lame, especially since it only protects herself and she has no taunt mechanic. I think it's pretty pathetic that she's only healing herself. Um, she does lose HP if you are holding her full charge for longer than a second. And the reason why you would be doing that is because if you do hold her full charge for longer than a, a second, all allies get an attack damage buff continuously, which I do think is good, right? I think at max, it's 10%. Even at level 5, 8% attack damage buff continuously is very, very good. But it's like you're giving that out to lose HP and stuff like that um the character is just very wonky and her burst skill it's okay it's max hp for herself i think that could have been for everyone honestly but again more attack damage buffs which is very good so um besides the attack damage buff this character is just completely useless and selfish in my opinion i don't really think she's that great of a character um i could see a lot of use with her hence why i think i'm gonna put her in the mid tier with small white right um but other than that i don't really think she is the best of the best characters character right um she is it's just weird with her right a character designed a character where you're not shooting with them i mean you can but she's a manual character right that's the thing she's a manual character they designed her to literally be used manual because if you do use auto you're never going to be able to get this second part where you have to hold the full charge for longer than a second you're literally unable to do that on auto so she's a manual character which i don't think that making manual characters is a problem but a lot of people prefer not to use manual characters um and then the whole concept of if you hold her her normal attack then you get this buff which basically insinuates you do not attack with this character then it's kind of like what's the point of her on the team i might as well put a character who um can one support me and still do damage right i feel like this character is just a waste of a character so we're gonna put her in that mid tier now when it comes to cinderella i think cinderella is quite obviously a top 10 character um i did put out a video um earlier before this one about um who's the best in the game is it red hood or is it cinderella a lot of people still are saying it's red hood and i do agree i don't think cinderella is the best character in the game but i don't mind putting her at number two or three is she better than crown kind of hard since these two are different characters but i do think 
think Crown does have more to offer than Cinderella. I am going to put her at um, number two, though, just for the sake of this video. And I am going to unfortunately move Scarlet down. I feel like Scarlet fell off. Um, not big, right? Not in a huge way, but now with Cinderella dropping and potentially Grave also hitting the top 10, there's just no possible way I would have Scarlet in the top 10 anymore, right? I do not think Scarlet is better than any of these characters right here, right? I do not think Scarlet is better than any of these characters at the front row. Um, definitely not, right? So I do want to put her down. Maybe D Killer Wife, you can argue with that. I think people would just dislike the video because Scarlet, they want Scarlet in the top 10, but you guys got to understand we're two years in. Scarlet has been in the game since the beginning of the year i'm sorry a lot of the characters from the beginning of the year are just starting to fall off now but cinderella is a fantastic character right um i think they did a great job with her she's obviously a very powerful character the hardest hitting character in the game um she has a decoy which is very very helpful for her um she doesn't have any taunt mechanic which i think she could have had especially having a decoy that does just regenerate for entering the burst skill stage three right meaning you don't have to use her burst skill you just have to go into a full burst essentially and she will reapply that so i think they could have given her um some type of um top mechanic but other than that that's probably the only thing i would change now for the charge speed and stuff like that i think this character is a very very cool character it's kind of silly for me to rank her right now though especially since she is bugged and i probably should um wait for her to not get bugged but even still we both know like everybody who's watching this video we all know even if they do fix her bug she would still be a top 10 character maybe she wouldn't be the second best i think she would probably just be the third best right i don't think her nerfs are going to put her all the way down here i think her nerfs um or her if they fix her bugs actually if they fix her bugs that's going to be a buff towards her right if they fix the issue where when you're full charge you double your damage in the burst skill she's still going to be up here so it doesn't really matter when they fix it or not because with the bug fix she's getting buffed and then if they do fix that issue it was an issue that wasn't supposed to be there anyways um and if she is losing 20 percent of her damage that's still a lot of damage right cinderella does a lot of damage right if she's doing a billion damage or yeah let's say she's doing a billion damage her losing 20 percent of that means she's doing only 800 million she is still going to be very powerful no matter how you look at it so in my opinion um i think that is um <laughs> i think she's quite good if you want me to be honest with you i think she's quite good regardless um now it's a different story if she's losing 20 percent of her damage every burst rotation if that's the case then sure she's still going to be in the top 10 but it's not just going to go from like 1 billion to 800 million but either way you cannot deny that this character is a top 10 character she's an anniversary character so she kind of had to be um i wish they did make her water cold i do wish they did make her uppers one two and three um but it's fine regardless right um her scaling off with hp i think was fantastic i think that was a great idea her being a rocket launcher defender i already knew that was gonna happen maybe some of you guys did as well um but i do think her scaling off with hp was a fantastic way for um them to go about this character right um they did try that before with 2b unfortunately it didn't work well but with uh anature oh cinderella i keep calling her anature with cinderella i'm sorry with cinderella they did did a great job so i will say she's a top 10 i am gonna come back to this tier list in a few weeks or not a few weeks in a, f a week maybe from now because we still do have to rank a grave as well but i think i'm gonna update this tier list with every new character actually i don't think i added some characters in here so i'm gonna pause the video real quick and just slap them in there um which was who rumani quincy phantom and then also whoever came out before them i'm gonna rank them and then yeah all right, so I did and uh, I, I did add the last three characters. I have Rumani in Rip. I do have Quincy and Phantom in Good, and then I do have Rouge in SS. I think that's what it is. Um, I'm not gonna explain it for those guys. I could do it later in the Grave video, but this is mainly just about Cinderella and Rapunzel. It's just my mistake for not adding them before. But I will be updating this tier list every single time a new character comes out and put them in here. It's my own tier list, but like I said, I do take you guys' opinion. So if you feel like anybody should go up or down, let me know. If you guys feel like Scar Charlie should be in top 10 and someone from top 10 should come down. Let me know. If you guys feel like anybody in SS should go to top 10 and someone should come down, let me know. But I'm only going to listen if there's a mass majority. So for now, that's going to be it for this video. You guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys agree with my ranking, my tier list, whatever you want to um, agree with. If you don't agree with it, it's fine. Nobody's tier list is ever perfect. And as long as you guys understand that, then I don't think we're really going to have a problem because my tier list, again, like I said last time, it got very good reviews, very good positive reviews from my comment section. So I doubt it's going to get better bad reviews this time because i think i'm accurate about rapunzel and i think i'm accurate about cinderella but 
you guys let me know what you think it's your boys the Uxus. again let's try to get two subscribers and let's try to get how much ever likes that you guys want to put out there since this is one that you guys got to agree with or disagree with but i'm gonna see you guys in the next one i'm out peace